All right, we know Botox gets rid of wrinkles, but now it can help fix an embarrassing condition suffered by millions of women. That's right, when all else fails, doctors are now fixing leaky bladders with an injection of the toxin. RTV6 reporter Stacia Matthews joins us now with the details. Stacia? Well, Erica, overactive bladder or incontinence, no matter what you call it, few women talk about having a leaky bladder with their best friend. Even fewer discuss it with their doctor. But there is no shame in seeking relief, and now a jab of Botox can fix it. It comes on suddenly. The urgent need to go, but you have an accident before you get to the bathroom. Or you're in the bathroom so often it keeps you up at night. You can be up anywhere three, four times a night. Um, I did not have a night's sleep, a full night's sleep, probably for a good three and a half years. You met Sharon D'Agostino in 2005 when a nerve stimulator was the breakthrough treatment for overactive bladder. But now, a jab of Botox is showing promise in fixing these leaks. One injection paralyzes the bladder muscle to prevent the contractions that cause them. It prevents the release of something called acetylcholine, which causes the muscle to contract. And with the contraction being eliminated, the symptoms of overactive bladder can be treated successfully in many patients. Dr. Douglas Hale is a urogynecologist with the IU School of Medicine. He participated in the Botox study where twice as many women reported their incontinence went away. Like with wrinkles, the Botox effect doesn't last forever. When it wears off, you must get another injection within nine months to keep the bladder symptoms under control. For most patients, when their symptoms are this severe and they failed all other treatments, this is a wonderful option for them, very easy to go through in the office, and they've tolerated it well. Now, in case you missed the big question, where do you get that Botox? Well, it goes directly into the bladder. Now, this treatment must still get the green light from the FDA. The feds approved it for the condition related to spine injuries or MS last year. But a broader approval means insurance companies will likely cover the cost to treat a leaky bladder. Stacia Matthews, RTV6.